If you want to receive short, medium and long wave radio signals with software defined radio receivers like RTL SDR dongle, AirSpy, FunCube or with any other VHF UHF receiver, then you need an up converter which will convert low frequency band to somewhere in VHF range where your receiver is able to receive. In other words, the up converter shifts incoming radio signals with low radio frequencies from few kilohertz up to around 55 megahertz into the tuner's frequency range. There are many up converters available on the market today. One of the best and most popular is Hamid up converter from Noelec and an up converter developed by Makis Sugar Victor 1 Alpha Fox November. Both of them are available in eBay. They are powered through USB connector and equipped with SMA female connectors for RF input and RF output. Both uses mini circuits passive double balanced diode mixers ADE1. Hamid up converter cost about 46 US dollars. There are space left on the PCB for a noise source circuit as additional feature. Most of the components are already soldered but if you want to use the noise source then you have to buy the rest of the components required to complete it which cost additional $15 including shipping costs. Details of the noise source circuit with the project documentation are available in the internet. Overall, Hamid up converter with noise source circuit cost me about $61 including shipping costs. Noise source is very useful feature. For example, you can use the noise source with spectrum analyzer for characterizing or tuning filters, amplifiers, diplexers, antennas and so on. Makis Sugar Victor 1 Alpha Fox November up converter cost me 69 US dollars including shipping costs. This up converter has selectable low noise preamplifier with 20 dB of gain from two parallel mini circuits Gali 74 plus amplifiers. Declared noise figure of this amplifier is about 3 dB. I'm not suggest using the LNA for receiving VLF, LF and HF especially if you have a good antenna. The galactic noise or noise temperature is very high on the frequency below 30 MHz, so there is no need for low noise amplifier. But in case of mobile receiving, for example, with no optimal antenna, then LNA can be very much useful. You can switch it on and off with jumper on the board. Maki Sub Converter is designed with excellent filtration on the RF input, RF output and local crystal oscillator to reduce harmonics and interference. It is very interesting that Makis has chosen the IF port of the mixer as input port and RF port as output port. This is because its frequency response starts at DC while the RF port starts a few hundred kilohertz. In that way, this up converter has excellent results receiving very low frequency as well as high frequency and up to 55 megahertz. This is Hamid up up converter connected through the AirSpy SDR and you can see here the many toroids on the USB cables in order to reduce the USB noise coming through the USB cables from PC. Here is AirSpy controller settings and you can see the IF gain is set to 1, mixer gain is set to 12 and LNA gain is set to 1. 10 mega samples per second no decimation. On spectrum window we can see the local oscillator leakage from converter and its level is 
minus 35 decibels full scale dbfs here is the strong signal from Macedonian radio about 30 kilometers from here on 810 kilohertz and the signal level peaking at minus 15 dbfs noise floor here around 2.2 megahertz is minus 80 dbfs antenna is mini whip active antenna now the sugar victor 1 afn up converter is connected also via air spy and with air spy controller settings i have gain 1 mixer gain 12 and lna gain 1 the same as previous converter hamid up and you can see the 60 kilohertz time signal is picking minus 58 minus 58 dbfs here is 77.5 kilohertz time signal from Germany picking 52 decibels full scale and noise floor is 97 minus 97 decibels full scale the local oscillator leakage the signal is about minus 38 dbfs with 10 mega samples per second and 64 decimation with sugar victor 1 afn up converter receiving alpha russian navigation system and here is 14.881 kilohertz you can clearly see, see the signal as well as the other two well above the noise level which was not the case with Hamitab converter so the conclusion is that Maki's up converter has much better response in VLF especially in low frequencies here is the results and numbers from several measurements with Hamid up converter and Makis converter values are average from several measurements they are made on uh, VLF as well as AM broadcast band and also in HF with or without decimation on AirSpy and you can see the results on this picture you can see basic information and characteristic of Hamid up converter and Makis up converter